the issue of wildlife extinction is a serious one that should be given due attention. Many individuals are doing their best to conserve this wildlife. Today we'll be meeting someone who has turned his residence into a conservation center where many animals are found. Let's meet him. We rescued many tortoises that were in the market to be eaten as bushmeat to be used in juju animism to produce the um, local juju called kognomi, love portion that is used by women. So when we brought out so many tortoises, we didn't know what to do with them. We created a small place to keep them and observe them. From there, we developed it into a rehabilitation center so that at the end of the day, we pack the tortoises and go back to the forest where they came from. Now, in our own peculiar circumstance, the sad news is that if you take them back to the same forest, the same hunters will go and get them again. We don't have a secured forest. We don't have a secured place. So we decided to return them there. And then one, two, three people, the people started coming. They want to see tortoises. They want to see tortoises. From there, popular demand, they ask us to have other animals so that they can come and see. And we saw the impact this was making on the society. We decided, we went to one village in Itu. We saw a hunter with a live monkey. We pleaded with him, what do you want to do? He said, once to sell it. We begged him and explained in detail to him the value of that monkey if it was alive. He donated it to us. We kept it there. That's how we started picking wherever we go. Uh, recently, a boy in Abia State had three vipers to sell for bushmeat. A professor in University of Agriculture, Umudike, Professor Ezalo, saw him and then advised the boy to contact me that I will make good use of the snakes. The boy called me. Eventually, I convinced the boy. He gave me the three vipers. Now, those three vipers are in the education center. So, this is how we got this animal. So, that investment is tailored at bringing the live animal close to our people so that the people can come there to look at these things, learn from us, hear about these animals, know their behavior, even observe it on their own as a realization, as a recreation, so that at the end of the day, more of our people will now start seeing animals as something to conserve, something to appreciate, not in eating as bushmeat, something to appreciate alive. So once people are so informed, once people are so enlightened, when they see an animal anywhere, wild animal, a snake crossing the road, you won't drive your car to go and march and kill it. If you see a monkey, you won't go shooting it for meat.